if you've ever struggled with what content to capture to market your cleaning service, look no further because I'm going to talk about the five most valuable pieces in my, in my honest opinion that you guys should start utilizing if you're not doing so already. So let's kick this off and first talk about before and after photos. So this is a timeless strategy, something that I think gets a lot of flack in this industry, which I'm not really sure why, because this is probably one of the, the easiest things for your customers to resonate with. So they've all seen when their stovetop, for example, gets filled with grime and grease and, and crumbs, or you know maybe the carpets get dirty, their stairs start to start to uh, you know track too much mud and dirt. So they can resonate with the before uh, photos, certainly. So this allows you to easily document your work. You know these photos are easy to capture. If you have a smartphone these days, which most of you do, there's really no excuse as to why you guys can't take photos of before you do the job versus after, because the way I see it is you're already doing, you know, 95% of the work. The other 5% is really just remembering to take out your phone and, and take the photos. So definitely start doing this. Um, when I mentioned allowing you to document your progress, I don't just mean short term, meaning, you know, what a stove looks like 20 minutes prior versus 20 minutes after after you clean, though that's certainly important, but it also allows for long-term progress, meaning you can go back to your photo library and learn a lot about how you did work, let's say a year ago or two years ago. Maybe you learned that a typical kitchen took you know 40 minutes for you to clean, um, where now it takes you about half the time because you've gotten the process so dialed in. So that's, um, that's another neat benefit about this. And it, it really just gives you an accurate de depiction of the quality of your service. So not everyone can remove tracked mud and dirt from a staircase that's, that's carpeted, but if you guys can do that, well, guess what? Now your client feels confident that you could do that for them. So now let's talk about customer testimonials. So this is actually, um, again, a, a timeless marketing strategy this isn't going anywhere anytime soon. And it's one of the most valuable things that you could do to basically have a potential customer pull the trigger and go with your service. So as we know, whether someone's price shopping around or they see your ad, many times they're gonna click off and look at your business on Google, on Yelp, maybe read some of your Facebook reviews, and they're gonna use that feedback to decide if they ultimately wanna go with you. So it's one of the quickest ways to build trust if you could really leverage these reviews and testimonials in front of your potential clients. And this is an example of a video testimonial. If you guys can get video uh, reviews from your current clients, you know, double thumbs up to you because that's, uh, that's something that a lot of people don't do with their cleaning companies. But it's probably one of the best ways to build that credibility. Now, re written reviews are certainly awesome as well. Um, this can be something that you not only start to build a track record of on let's say Google and Yelp and all the other platforms, but you could actually utilize these reviews for paid advertisements. So you could do what's called, for example, a carousel ad on Facebook where you actually have sort of a, um, a collage of all of the nice reviews that you have and you use that to distribute in front of these folks. Now let's talk about written pieces. So this is really good for those of you who are a little bit camera shy. You don't really know what to say on camera or you just don't feel comfortable. Whatever the case is, this could actually play into your strengths, especially if you're a really good writer. So whether it's a social media post, um, a blog post on your website, maybe just even a long form piece of written content that you, you put into an email, this is an awesome way to also build up that credibility and trust. And there is a market who actually prefers reading more of the written content versus let's say some of the photos and, and the videos. So this is really your time to shine. Um, it's easy to batch this, by the way, if you pick like one Sunday to just type out a bunch of content and utilize that to distribute over the course of a week, something that I would recommend. And as I briefly mentioned, this could apply to Facebook, Instagram, your Google My Business posts, emails, um, you know, blog articles, things like that. So awesome strategy. Now let's talk about educational videos. And I think this is probably one of the most underutilized strategies of all of the content pieces that I'm gonna give you. 
And the reason why is because this takes a little bit of legwork. It's not something that you could just whip out your phone and take a quick picture of. This requires a little bit more planning. And the whole idea of this is to establish the authority because now you're educating your audience. You're telling them how to get rid of pet stains and odors from their rugs or what your number one recommended disinfectant solution is for offices or how to deep clean uh, a mattress with three ingredients. And the whole idea with this is again, you're, you're allowing your prospects to build a rapport with you certainly, but you're really setting your expectations. And by distributing that, you're saying like, hey, I'm the business owner. We've been doing this for so long. I'm confident that this works here. Here's how you do it. That speaks volumes about who you are as a company. And they're like really, really much more likely to go with your company once they see something like this. Now, this is especially important for a lot of you that have higher ticket services. So for example, something like a janitorial service or a commercial cleaning service, I hate to tell you, but traditional marketing, just, hey, you know, call now for a free quote. You're really not gonna attract your ideal audience, at least not in any volume that you probably want. So trust me by doing the extra step of doing this and basically putting your time and effort into focusing on this type of content is really gonna pay dividends in the end. Now let's finish off and talk about the last thing, which is personable content. And I left this last because this is kind of your moment for a sigh of relief because this can do wonders for your business. I think it's the easiest photo, um, or sorry, the easiest type of content to capture because chances are, if you go into your photo library right now, you probably have 10, 15, 20 pieces that you could start posting right now and actually get some, some bites. Now, the whole idea with this is really just to humanize your brand. So if you're constantly posting, let's say on Instagram, of different offers that you're running, um, you know, uh, may maybe, maybe customer reviews, which is excellent before and afters, and um, you know, stuff like that, I would recommend probably about 15 to 20% of your feed to start posting on your stories, for example, or start making actual posts of group photos. So you with your team, you with a client's home that you recently cleaned, um, you know, this example, a goodie bag that, that clients receive after they do cleaning with you. Stuff like this goes a huge way. Trust me, you're building a ton of trust, a ton of rapport with, with your clients or soon to be clients by, by posting stuff like this. And this kind of ties into the expression, which is that people are more likely to do business with people that they like versus let's say someone who has the same sort of credibility as you, but they don't really know or they don't really like. So as a quick example, let's say this is you. Let's say this is your competitor. Let's say you're pretty matched in terms of how many reviews you have, what services you actually offer, but you on the other hand, you've went the extra mile and you've, you've done the work to post videos about your team eating lunch, your team going out to the store to buy supplies, um, you at a client's home introducing yourself and your client and you know, Hey, it's Wednesday at 4 PM. This is the cleaning we're doing. Well, guess what? You're going to be automatically higher on that person's scale and who are they going to go, you know, more likely with when it's finally time to choose a cleaning company, you know, enough said. So that's pretty much it guys. Start utilizing all five of these pieces. Um, cause I guarantee it's going to help your marketing efforts and that's pretty much it.